Obamacare really does focus most of its attention on insurance, doesn't it? Right, it does. Uh, and I think that's part of what makes it a misguided policy, uh, is this notion that we should be expanding insurance uh, when, in fact, part of the problem with the U.S. healthcare system is we have too much third-party coverage. So you step back from this and ask, as you did in this presentation, just how risky is it to be uninsured and what you found might surprise some of our listeners? Right. So a lot of people think that there is an excess mortality risk associated with being uninsured. Uh, and the advocates of Obamacare claim that anywhere from 18 to 45,000 deaths a year can be attributed to there being 48 million uninsured. Well, it turns out if you actually look at the scientific evidence, it's a much murkier picture. And the best study that I was able to encounter shows only a slightly elevated mortality risk. And uh, in terms of statistical significance, it wasn't statistically significant. So, which meant that the, st the researchers couldn't be 95% uh, confident that, you know, for all, for all they could tell, being uninsured was no more risky than being privately insured. And beyond just the, uh, the thought of the excess mortality risk, you also looked at the riskiness in, in other ways as well, didn't you? Well, I did. I looked at financial risk. Um, uh, people who are uninsured um, face a slightly high – they're two and a half more times more likely to, f to undergo what's called a medical bankruptcy. That is a bankruptcy related to medical bills. But it turns out they're also two and a half times as likely to face a bankruptcy for non-medical reasons as well which suggests that the uninsured just have characteristics, you know, whether it's family income or just lifestyle choices that are different than people with private health insurance coverage.